What is up, everybody? We are back here on Farming Simulator 2019, back on our Raven map. Uh, we are back here on our little farm. We just got started. If you guys haven't seen the first video, make sure you go check that video out. It's just like the beginning. Very first video to this entire series, to this entire game. We, You have to check that out if you're going to check anything out. What the heck? Look at that bird. Did you just see that? That was crazy. But guys, we're back here on FS19, baby. It sounds so good to say. Um, and today we're just going to be hitting the farm hard. We're going to be getting going. I think what we're going to start out with is, so as you guys can see here, I cleared some of the land, or not land, I mean, yeah, land. I cleared some of the soybeans off of our land here with our uh, John Deere over there. I basically just did a loop around the place. I tried to get some of those out of the way, but they're kind of all a little messed up um, because the little ridge it uh, created. But I think we might clear a little bit more. Yeah, we might clear a little bit more over. And then we're going to try and place down some more stuff. We still got to go get some small tractors. Uh, just something to tow around some stuff. Oh, that's uh, $59,000 for the cheapest one. What the heck? Whoa, these are expensive. $100,000 for six of them. We have $123,000 left to make our mark on this place. I don't know if we're going to do it. Crop protection, sprayers, uh, these are some of the other stuff I got. Ooh, ooh, I don't know, guys. This is, how much is that smallest large truck? 200000 Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, I think we're going to start out with ourselves a Valtra. Oh, wow, that even costing us more extra money. All right, we're going to start out with a basic Valtra. We're not going to do anything to it. We're just going to buy basic, basic, basic. Let's give it. Get a good, get a quick look around it. Oof, ooh, she's looking good. We will buy it. Yep. And then we're also gonna buy ourselves a tipper. I think they're just trailers at FS19, so we're just gonna buy a good old trailer. Uh, well, let's see here. Twelve thousand, fourteen thousand. Why does this one? Oh, because it covers. That's why it's a little bit, bit, little bit better, but it's more expensive and it holds less. That's weird. All right. Let's do the oh, $58,000. Oh, wow. We were low. We're going to do the TKD302 is what we're going to do. Yep. We're just going to buy this bad boy. We need it. Fetch purchase at the store. All right, so now we're down to $31,000. Let's see what we can do with that to place some stuff down. Animal pens, chicken coop, $20,000. Doghouse, can't do that yet. We got to wait till a full release to do that bad boy. Paddocks. Large pastures. Oh my gosh, those are huge. All right, we got chipper, water stations, vehicle workshops, a uh, good old pressure washer. Silos, bunkers, hayloft, just grain silos in general. So this is where we can store in. How much are these grain silos? 110,000. So we can't store yet. It's a good thing this isn't seasons, because if it was seasons that we can't store, we would be, we'd be in some trouble here. Um, what we're gonna start off with is just gonna hop on top of our good old John Deere here. There we go. We're going to start off by, uh, fi not finishing, but filling up this. So we can still hire out workers, straw swath. Oh, yeah, because it's soybeans. We don't, we don't need that on here. All right. So we're just going to knock out a little bit of this 17 here. And then we're going to hire a, a worker out onto it once we get a good uh, baseline set around the edges. There we go. And then we'll go and we'll pick up our... Uh, let me set that, shut that off. We'll go pick up our new tractor down there. I guess we could have used the gator to pull, but it's probably not too realistic. So we're going to try and fill up this 560 here with some good old soybeans. Let me get in a first-person view. Ooh, she is looking good. Look at the seat bouncing up and down. We got reactive seating. Oh, we can, we can even get an extra person in here. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. All right, so... We're just going to set a good bead around the, all the edges here just to be sure. And then we'll let our worker get hired out here because we don't want him or her 
have too much of a trouble and or I just don't want them to plow into the house. That's pretty much the main thing. We just bought that thing. It's like half a mil. Don't want it to get ruined on the first first day. That'd be bad. That set a very bad impression for a, for a farmhand. And there we go. Oh, well, we were doing pretty good in first person there. Jeez, these birds are so loud. All right. So, and the good thing is, is when we bought this land, we did not have to plant or anything. If you guys saw the first episode, you didn't have to plant. You didn't have to do a single thing to it. It was amazing. I just bought it right out from under the guy. I think it ended up costing us 200,000, 100,000. Somewhere around there. Uh, I think these two fields were almost the same. We got sunflowers growing on this one right here. Uh, once the sunflowers are done growing and we have a little bit of extra cash in our pockets, I think we are going to combine these two fields because it'd be super easy to combine them. Uh, it's almost like the game just wants you to combine them. All you got to do is run a nice plow right down the center there, get it out of the way, and you got one big field, which is really nice. Um, and plus, with doing that, I'll gain a little bit of, uh, what do you call it here? I gain a little bit of land because I lost a little bit of land for placing our house down there. Plus, that house is probably going to take up a large portion of 17. And what other stuff, grain, silos, all this stuff that we're going to add, um, it will probably end up taking up a little bit more of 17 and the edges. Um, I guess we could have put it in another spot, but we're kind of inexperienced. And that's kind of what we just did, so just got to deal with it for now. Uh, we're almost done with our with our good uh, set around here. Probably by the time we get back with our tipper, or our trailer now, uh, by the time we get back with our trailer, I'm pretty sure our helper will be really close to finishing. Not the whole field. <laughs> Not the whole field. But our helper will be really close to finishing this, uh, this batch. Filling up uh, the John Deere. There we go. I bet you every single American player, first thing they're buying right off the bat is John Deere Harvester. I can almost guarantee. I'm pretty sure the squad's going to do it. Spencer TV's going to do it. Everybody's going to do it. First thing everybody's going for is the good old John Deere. bet you everybody also has the John Deere hat on too and the sunglasses. It's going to be, yeah, I can guarantee you that's how it's going to be. Alrighty, there we go. All right. Let me drop him off. I'll go over here and I'll uh, get it set on the other side. Mainly because I'm not sure if they'll... Uh, how they'll do it. I'm not sure if the worker will curve along with it or not curve. I'm pretty sure they won't. But you never know till you try. So let's just let them get at it. Alright. They're doing it. Oh, oh, they kicked that stuff right in my face. Not cool. All right, there we go. We're going to grab our Valtra, and we're going to snag our new trailer. There we go. Oh, look at that. Some nice noise cancellation. All right, sorry. Got my turn signal on. Nobody hit me. Nobody hit me. Alrighty, and we are off 25 miles per hour. Mm, I'm going 26. We're breaking the law. Yeah, baby. We got speakers in here. We got the Giants FM radio playing up there. I mean, we don't have it actually playing, but we got it playing. Uh, left here. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to take a dirt path. Hopefully, we can make it up this. Pedal to the floor. Um, we are on the wrong path here. <laughs> there we go. All right, I think this will eventually take us up to where we need to go because we need to follow that. Uh, what the heck is that over there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is happening over here? Oh my gosh, everybody, I repeat, we have an SUV that has been 
Just drove off the side of this lake right here. What the heck is going on? All right. That is weird. All right, we're getting out of here. People are crazy. All right. Oh, no, it's going to hook us up to the biogas plant here, isn't it? Is that where we're at? Where are we at? Spinnery. All right, we're at the spinnery. This is our first look at the spinnery. I haven't been here before. So, it's a nice spinnery we have here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't mean to be here. I'm just trying to get home. I'm a lost farmer. Oh, no. We went the wrong way. We need to go up over here, loop up underneath the train tracks right there. That's where we need to go. All right, so cut right now. Yes. Okay. Good thing we got our worker going because I am not getting anything done right now. Uh-oh. We should be able to make it up. Yeah, we'll, leave the, we'll leave the top on. Leave the top on. Come on, Valtra, you can do it. So with that, we're down to $31,000. Um, and we're steadily paying all of our, uh, or our one worker. So this first little bit we get here, we will have to go sell it as soon as possible. Um, let's see here. It's going to save every time we go in there, isn't it? The Railroad Silo East. Let's see what the Railroad Silo East is giving us. Uh, ooh, maybe it's not giving us anything. That is not a cell phone, I guess. All right, so we can take the Railroad Silo East, though, all the way up to Central Grain Elevator and sell there for 1600 that's perfect for us that's exactly what we want so we just got to take control of that train then oh guys and there's cotton i completely forgot that there's cotton in this game now oh that's gonna be amazing all we gotta do is get our uh, cotton harvesters and everything and we will be good to go because there was a uh a mod for cotton in fs17 and now we got it in FS19, officially supported. We are up on a hill, actually, now that I realize it. We are up on a really big hill. We're probably going to want to get a, a semi coming up here in a bit to actually start moving stuff up here because this tractors, they are not going to be able to hold out on this hill for long, pulling up large amounts. I guess we won't always be pulling up. We'll always be up. Uh, yeah, we'll always be taking stuff down, but never back up, though, which would be good. Come on. We can do it. I believe. What is this right here? Harvest one. Heck acre. Heck, hecked acre. That's what it is. All right. Ooh. What do we got? What do we got in the radio? Nothing. Oh, can we pick up the sunglasses? No, nope. we can pick up the chair though. We can pick up the good old radio. All right, ready? Whoa! All right, radio smash now. Poor radio. What about this one? Is this one something special? Nothing special with this thing. What is this? It's like a lockbox. Up, oh, nope. That was part of the radio. So I think. Let me double check you guys. We own, not this one. What am I doing? We own all of this. So we can use this whole area here, but this is all really sloped. Okay. So basically the roads cut everything. What about this one? How much is this one? 240,000? What about this one? Oh, that's a huge plot. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Never mind. Let's hop back in the vault. Let's actually get over there and start unloading this bad boy because he's probably getting pretty full here. Is that a dog barking at me? Oh my gosh. 
I think I do have crop destruction on, guys, by the way. Just so you know. Um, game settings, crop destruction is on. Plant withering is on. Normal growth. Uh, we'll do fast growth. What is lime? Oh, lime, weeds on. All right, so we are realistic, everybody, except for plant growth. Plant growth is really quick, but we are realistic minus other thing, everything else from that. So we got a weed. We got to spray lime. We got to plow. We got to do all the good stuff. All right. There we go. Oh, we need to slow it down here. Let's set our cruise at six. Six has always been the magic number. Yup, there we go. How much we got on us right now? Four thousand. We'll make back probably twenty, thirty thousand off of this one, I think. Off this one. Yeah, off this one field. All right, so it looks like he is now tapped out. So we will let him finish his little triangle here and then we'll we will finish that area for him oh yeah we're gonna need to get a bigger tractor here you guys can't like feel the responsiveness that i can but this uh tractor this vulture is definitely it's definitely hurting it's not used to that much weight all right we'll whip it over here All right, everything's going good. All right, while we wait for him, let's check out the stuff we can buy. Oh, wow, we can just buy bales now. I bet you you have to go move them, though, yourself, which is a pain in the butt. How many big bags? We got oats, pig food, wheat, and lime. What is this lime I'm seeing everywhere? Uh, crop protection. No subsoilers. A subsoil it can be used instead of a plow. Fertilize spreaders improve the harvest of your fields. So this is what you can use instead of a plow. Power haros. It's a cultivator. Discaros. More cultivators. Oh, that one was an FS-17. That one was my favorite. But then we have cultivators. And we have plows. Interesting. So we have a dun a, a dunch. A bunch of things. I just gotta figure out what the difference between plows and haros are. I don't know. If you guys know, leave a comment down below in this and leave a comment down below in the comments section. Let me know if you guys know what the difference between the haros are or haros. And just like the regular plows and cultivators. Because there's obviously something different. But I guess I just don't know what it is yet. We got miscellaneous. Rollers. Uh, lifters. The good old water trailer. Some good belt systems. Low loaders. Bunch of header trailers. Was that a John Deere header trailer? No, that was a crone. Uh, okay. Let's get steer stuff. The good old... Good old, good old. Some more levelers. I'm just going through all the stuff here, guys, while I wait for him to finish. Some good forestry equipment. This is just tools, too. This isn't the actual equipment itself. Cow stable with straw. So you have to cover your own cow stables with straw now. You can't just throw them in and let them go. That's pretty cool, actually. So this right here, this stuff takes lime. So lime is what you can use as fertilizer. But you need lime every once in a while, I guess. It's probably like a it's like a nutrient in the ground, I'm pretty sure. Like limestone type stuff. Uh, if you guys know what it is, comment down below and correct me. That'd be fantastic. This works. Oh, this plants too. Oh, these are planted. I thought these were... I'm. Don't ask me... <laughs> Oh, geez. Tanks. More tanks. Okay, those are some, those are some big stuff. Subsoilers. See, like, there's so much more stuff in here now. Ooh, auger wagons. Oh, these are so good. 
I love it. Uh, he's almost done over there. And then we'll get out of here. Check out the forestry machine. See what we got. Just a bunch of scorpion king type machines. What we got for trucks? Good old lizards. There's a Roadrunner, Hulk, Warrior. We got the Phoenix and a man. So these are more uh, European trucks right here. And then these, I feel like, are more American or Western trucks, in my opinion. I feel like these ones, I feel like I only see these ones in Europe type stuff. Not really big front ends, more just really flat. It'd be easier to drive, for sure. Large tractors. What's the biggest we got? Quad tracks, baby. There we go. Yes. John Deere 6R is up in there. All right. Well, that's just a little, a little tour through there. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of machinery, and a lot of, a lot of tools this time around. That's the, that's the big thing I noticed. There's so many more tools. All right, we're gonna switch to the train really quick. Uh, this one, right? Trains, switch the trains on. All right, slow. All right, we're gonna slow this train down just so we can dump into it. Where is he at? There we go go right there that should be perfect all right um okay hopefully we can make this train stay there hopefully it doesn't run away from us and let's run back up here all right so as long as that train stays we'll go empty make sure it's not moving on me all right, let's go empty out our John Deere, and we'll go dump this down there, and then before we dump that, actually, we'll get him going back on that. Actually, we'll just finish it ourselves. There's no need to have a worker on that. That's a super small area. All right, 560. Let's see what you got. All right, 8,400 plus... All right, not bad. A little bit over two, or a little bit under two, actually. Oh, here, let's just snag this little guy. There we go. And there we go. We almost have our first field completely harvested. I'm just gonna see if I can nick the edges of this while I get going. I'm pretty proud of that. Our first field harvested, second video already. It feels pretty good, I gotta admit. It feels pretty good to get it done. What is that sound? Oh, I was too easy looking around, I messed up. Um, whatever that is, is so loud, oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, next up, what we gotta do is cultivate and we're gonna flatten that area of the field over there just so we can get some more stuff put in. I need to get some sheds put in we're gonna try to push them out to the edges of the field so we don't take up too much crop space uh because that's the one thing we really don't want to do is just take up all of our crop space because i have a feeling that's kind of what's going to happen because we didn't really choose the best spot to start out in um i know most people i know the easy mode game starts you out over by 19 24 25 26 which you guys can see there's the bottom right hand of the corner bottom right hand corner not of the corner uh so you start down there which gives you a little bit easier it's smaller fields get you a little bit more acquainted um i kind of went big off the bat which i'm kind of broke now but we got a big fields and we have our uh, soybean harvest for free pretty much and we have a sunflower harvest for free all we gotta do is buy the header for the sunflower and we're good but other than that i'm feeling great Oh, look at that. We got birds out in our fields picking up all of the rest of the uh, soybeans are missing, I'm sure. All right. Three more passes, and we got it. 
Oh man, this game is so realistic looking. It's so incredible. It just they really 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 turned up the graphics in FS19. And let me just say personally on my on my monitor, I have a 2K monitor and it's very very noticeable on mine. It's just it's a night and day difference between this and the last game. There we go. And all oh, the cook we're kicking over some of that into the other field. All right, there we go. Field is harvested. Let's go drop this off over here now. Train's still chilling where it's supposed to be chilling, which is nice. So we're at thirty thousand dollars. Let's see what. Oh, look out of there! Get out of here. So we're at thirty thousand dollars now, and let's see what happens after we sell. So this whole field filled up, almost filled up. This entire, not even almost. It filled up about a little bit under half, over half of our trailer here. All right, close that top just in case we flip. Oh, look at that. This train just... Oh, we're going through it. Because we're the ones who have the train stopped. So we're, we'll go through it. We know that it's not going to be coming by. Until the train comes from the other direction, it just completely destroys us. But that is something else. All right. Let's drop these soybeans. And these soybeans will go into the silo here. And then we can hop in the train... Yep, there we go. No! Train, what are you doing? Hold on. Train took off on me for no reason. I don't know why it did that. It's like the second I dumped in there, it's just like, see ya! And we overshot it. And we'll pull back forward. And we'll slow her down. There we go. Fill her up on some good old soybeans. This train can hold a lot. Wow, it can hold a lot. All right. So now we're going to make our way around the map over to the central grain elevator. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I kept some of those people stopped there for like a good 30 minutes. All righty. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Really old train, it looks like. Oh, it's a diesel locomotive. I mean, yeah. Oh no, we're going all the way around, aren't we? We're going over to the port grain elevator is where we're going. Port grain elevator. You know, it's not too bad a price. It's the worst price, but it's not too bad. Oh, wow. And this will give us a good excuse to go look at the map. We have a hydroelectric dam over there. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Very hilly in this section. I'm sure you could do... I'm sure you could plant and do some forestry back up in here. For sure. Alright, coming through. We are shutting down every intersection. There we go. We're just going to make our way through here. Sorry, everybody. Looking at it now, I probably could have gone in reverse and spent half the time going around, but it happens. Oh, we have a lighthouse and a harbor. Oh, that's awesome. That looks amazing. At least from out here, you can't really see the ships, the cargo ships out there, but it looks really good. But we need to fast for the time. We need to get this thing going. We're on, we've been on one times. 
making our way. Oh, you can go down to the beaches. That's awesome. We got beaches on the USA map. So we're probably east coast, west coast. I don't know. I don't know where, where they want us to be. Oh, this is great. This looks really good. There's so much opportunity for mods now to be on water for this map already. That's really, really impressive. All right, we're going to stop here at the Port Grain Elevator. Stop. All right, it's this one right here. And I think we're here. Or are we not at the right spot? I could have sworn we were at the right spot. Let me see here. There we go. Now we're unloading, yes. $17,000 harvest income. All right, that's not too shabby in my opinion. First harvest, not a big field, no weeding, no nothing done to it, at least that I know of. Um, 17,000, not too bad. We're probably gonna wanna figure out a way to kick up the income though because 17,000 from just one is not going to be enough. So we're going to we're going to have to get rolling on some more money. Let me see here. I just want to go all the way around. Mainly kind of see the town cuz I haven't really went been through town at all. Okay, there we go. All right, we'll tab back over. Yep. Start overload. We can't. Oh, are you kidding me? We didn't get rid of all of our soybeans. Oh. Okay, let's just get rid of them into this one. And we'll just hold them in this grain elevator for now. How did that happen? I could have sworn we got rid of them all. Alright, I guess it happens, guys. It's like 300 bucks, so. Oh, well. All right, so now what we're going to do is I just want to survey the area, see what we can put down for sheds first. Oh, wow, this small tractor here is, she's hurting. She's hurting bad. So we're going to definitely probably have to take out a bank loan. I'll need to pay him $354 for that. Wow, that's a... For, that was for like an hour's worth of work. That is insane. Whoa. Okay. So. Sheds. Sheds are pretty cheap. Oh. Yep. Yeah, these are. This shed is huge. Okay. Is there any way to rotate this shed? Let's see here. Um. All right, we can rotate our view, but can we rotate the shed is the question. Okay, it doesn't, I really want to place it right here, but it doesn't look like it's going to let me rotate. Oh, guys. All right, hold on. Let's look in the... If you can't figure something out, always just revert to going to the help. All right, let's see what we can gather from here. Um, no, 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 no. Not quite what we're looking for. Not quite. No, that's not what we. Oh, wow.
Let's see. Oh, this is sugar cane. We don't want to be checking out sugar cane. We don't need that yet. We don't need this yet. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I'm just going to have to go through and try and figure it out on my own, guys. I'll try and go through and see if I can figure out a plant one. Um, if I can, I'll get it put down and it will be ready for next episode. Oh, we need some lime on this field, apparently. According to the field info on the bottom right. But I'll try and get that figured out before next episode. Anyways, if you guys are enjoying this series so far, hit that like button. If you guys like these two videos a day, it's it's going to be pretty awesome. I, I am loving it. I hope you guys are loving it. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Uh, also, guys, click that bell notification button. It'll really help me out, and it'll help you out if you guys really want to view my videos right when they come out. Um, I might be trying out YouTube's new premiere thing coming out coming out here soon. Um, it's already out, but I might try and use it where we uh, basically watch the episode as it comes out together. Um, kind of like a live stream type thing, but it's kind of not because I'm not really talking. But I might be trying that out, so hit that bell icon so you guys know when that would happen. Um, but anyways, I'll see all you guys in the next FS19 video.